let's just set, set the scene a little bit for those that might not have the background. What does the map of Europe look like at the time of Charlemagne? What, what, what are we looking at in Europe? Well, if you start with Charlemagne's father, Pippin, what you have is clearly, or even a little bit before that, in the aftermath of the Roman Empire, you have the emergence of different groups of peoples within the areas that were once Roman, but also beginning to incorporate areas that were not. Each of those areas in Spain or in Italy, in England, Wales, Ireland, in North Africa, were ruled by different groups, often actually in collaboration with the populations who had existed under the Romans. Now, the general phrase that's used for these is the barbarians, because that's what the word that's often used, they were foreign, but they settled within the Roman Empire and formed the successor states, the so-called successor states to the Roman Empire. And in Gaul, the area we would now think of as France, that was where the Franks were primarily settled. And by the time you get to Pippin, Charlemagne's father, the Franks were settled throughout the area we think of as, as France. Now Pippin actually expanded his own rule and when he became king, he conquered Aquitaine. And Aquitaine was the southern part of Gaul. So when Charlemagne inherited with his brother in 768, essentially the kingdom he inherited with his brother comprised what we would think of as France. 